Tips and Tricks for the Sticker Design Tool This video goes over 5 features that will make using the design tool easier and more efficient. Product Details You select your size, material, and quantity before going into the design tool. But if you need to change it after you started to design, simply continue to the next step. You can update any of the product's details here before finalizing your sticker. And if you still need to make changes to the design, you can use the edit button in the top right to go back into the tool. Custom text. Most of our templates have a custom text placeholder. You can edit this placeholder by clicking on it or by selecting it from the layers panel. You can add additional text fields by clicking on the Add Text tab. Your sticker will match the design you submit, so you'll want to remove any of the custom text placeholders you don't want on the final product. This is very easy to do. You can either click on the placeholder and push the Remove Layer button, or you can go to the Layers tab and click the X on the layer you want to delete. Curve Text For oval and circle designs, you may want to curve your text so it fits better along the edge of your sticker. To do this, select the text layer and open the Advanced Options. Choose a top or bottom curve from the Text Arc drop-down. Then adjust the size of the text and the arc to match the rest of your design. Now the text matches the edge of the circle. One really cool feature you can add is variable data. Let's say instead of the state champions text, we wanted to have a sticker with each player's name on it. This is very easy to do. Simply click on the text and change the text type to comma separated list. Then type out each of the player's names with a comma after each. Once the design is finalized, the quantity will automatically update with the number of items in the list. Images as backgrounds. Using a photo for the background of your sticker can add a personal touch or make it look more professional. Add a new image or choose one of your previously uploaded files. Increase the size of the image until it exceeds the size of the sticker. You'll want to move the image to the bottom of the layers so that it doesn't cover up any of the other design elements. Once you move to the next step, the image will be cropped so you have an accurate representation of your sticker design. We hope that these tips make it easier for you to design a great looking sticker online.